What's up you guys, The Electro 9 here. Also, you can just call me Miguel because that's my real name, oops. But I want to do a video where I show off everything that I have that's Chucky related so I can do unboxings in the future of the stuff that I can add to my collection because the most recent video that I uploaded has 1,000 views and counting. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, do another Chucky video because those seem to do better than most of my videos. So let's go ahead and do that. The things that were given to me as gifts, except for this one. This one I just picked up at a Halloween store. I thought it was really cool because I've never seen a, a Chucky cup like this before. It has like a spinning Chucky on it. Focus, camera. There we go. It has like a little spinning Chucky on it. I thought that was really cool because like he spins. And on the other side, it says, friends till the end. So yeah. The other thing that I got was this little Chucky thing my girlfriend slash wife got this for me. I, she knows I love Chucky and I've been looking for this thing right here, the horror Chucky. I don't know who made the little Chuckies because I think it's the only Chucky that they made of this. They had Pennywise, Freddy, and Jason, but I was trying to look for the Chucky, and this was actually really hard to find where I live. So I'm actually happy that she got this for me, because I couldn't find it anywhere. It has the little voodoo knife, if my camera can focus. There. It has the Chucky, and then it has the little voodoo doll from the first one. So this one's based from the first movie. The next thing I got is the Funko Pop Child's Play 2 Chucky. I have a couple of these, actually. This isn't the only one. Yeah, it's a little keychain, and it's a little Chucky. The next thing I have is this. My girlfriend, again, got me this from a comic book store. It was sitting in a glass case, and she was like, oh, I'm gonna get that for you. And I was like, I actually wanted this one. If you guys can see it, here, it's a little closer. Next, we have this Chucky, like, body knocker thing. This was actually, I remember when this came out, or they were announcing that these were about to come out. Funko, uh, no, NECA. Uh, NECA was releasing these, and I was like, I gotta get my hand on one, because it just looks so cool. Hold on. It just looks so cool. Look at that. It's insane. It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like the packaging and everything. See, doesn't that just look really cool? Maybe it's just me. But his body swings back and forth, or side to side, sorry. And he's solar powered, so if you put him like, let's say, in a window seal, he would dance, but I didn't, I don't have any batteries in him, or he's not turned on. Well, he's just not out of the box. I don't want to pull him out, because it's some cool packaging, and yeah. And another thing from NECA I have are these two NECA figures, the Ultimate Chuckies. Now, the coolest thing about these two is one of them is real, and one of them is fake. And if you can't tell which one's actually real and which one's actually fake, this is actually the real one, I believe. A really good fake. Okay, no, this one's the real one. And this one's the fake one. It's actually really hard to tell. The skin's a lot lighter, and if this camera can focus. But the paint job is atrocious. Like, they don't look anything like the real one does. Like, it, it's, it's, it's obvious. Sorry guys, my camera does not want to focus at all whatsoever. But see, right here you can kind of tell the differences between the Chucky skin tones and the box color. It, they're completely different tones. Now you can kind of see the differences between the boxes. His skin is a little more off, and the box is a little darker on the fake one than it is the real one. But they actually did a really good job on this fake box. Okay, so the, the price difference is, I got the real one for $30. And the fake one was actually, I think, $10? I think, or $5? It was around, it was really cheap, really, really cheap. But I like the real one, obviously, because it's real and it's better and it's by NECA. This one, I don't know who made this. Next up, we have the Living Dead Dolls Chucky, which this was one of the first ones that came out. The box is very damaged, please forgive me. I've had this for a very, very long time. The day that Living Dead Dolls released a Chucky, I bought one instantly. So that was a long time ago, and it's been through some stuff, as you can see, but this will never leave my sight, so that's okay. Next off is my plushies that I have. I have two plushies at the moment. The reason why I got this one from, I got this one from Spencer's, I believe? Or no, Hot Topic, I got this from Hot Topic because I was watching a video 
of Edgar O's video, by the way, link in the description, go check his channel out. He was saying that these are gonna be limited and the prices are gonna go up. I bought this for $30 and the price online is like almost $50 now, so yeah, good purchase. This one is really cool. This is by Kid Robot. Yeah, Kid Robot. And I wanted to get this one because I, I saw this at Target and I was like, well, this is really cool. I'm gonna get this, so I did. And now he's just in my room. He looks really cool. If you have a collection, definitely get this little plushie. I have two Funko Pop figures. Both were bought release date. Like as soon as they came out, I bought them. This one was one of the first Chucky Pop figures that ever came out. And I purchased one as soon as I found out that they existed. <laughs> and this is actually one of the original Chucky Funko Pop figures that exists. This one is one of the newest ones that just released recently and I had to get my hands on it because it's from my favorite scene from Child's Play 2 when he was on that little blue thing, the little scooter. He, he, he got cut in half, that, that's what I'm trying to say. And he has a little knife for a hand as you can see from inside there. One of my favorite two figures. I still have one more to collect. There's a one that has a really cut up face, like from Brad Chucky, I just, I can't find it anywhere. It's really hard to find, but I'm probably going to have to order it offline because that's the only place I can find it. So I have the movies. I have two movie sets. I recently got this one. I have a Blu-ray and a regular. This one I think only has Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Brad Chucky, and Cedar Chucky. And this one has every single movie. So yeah, really cool. And here is the bigger purchases. The most expensive things I've probably bought. This is a Mezco Chucky. He talks and he is, I think I got him for $70, uh, near 100. I think actually I bought him for 100, I think. Around 80 to $90. And he talks, let's see if he's on right now, I don't know. Oh yeah. Problem with killing. I like a little killing now and then. What's wrong with that? So yeah, he actually talks and he says different phrases. <laughs> He's really cool. The reason why I bought him is because I've never actually had a decent looking Chucky. I've always had the ones from Spencer's. But I wanted a decent looking one because you know I'm a big fan and everybody had this one. I was the only one that didn't have this. So I picked him up in California because I saw him and I was like I gotta get him. He's really cool. Next up, we have the paint picture painting thing that's actually made of wood. Yeah, the Chucky picture. This is just really cool to have on the wall. It actually fell off my wall last night. I don't know why. The hook looks okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it fell. It just did. This is all messed up. Jesus, I'm doing a terrible job. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. And last but not least, I'm not gonna move it, but I have the good guy doll from Trick or Treat Studios. You guys saw the video. If you haven't, links in the description. I'm not gonna pull them out at all. I still have the box that he came in. It's right here. Yeah. Anyways, guys, yeah, so that's everything that I have at the moment. I'm probably going to collect more. That's not the only Funko Pop figure I have. It's just all the Chucky stuff I have. I also have an Annabelle uh, Living Dead doll, but this is a Chucky video. Chucky! Anyways, guys, let me know if you know anything that I don't. I know there's more stuff out there, but if you guys have a Chucky collection or if you have anything Chucky, tell me what you got. Tell me anything, please. I'm, I'm interested. I'm a big fan. Yeah, hopefully I can do more unboxings of new things that I get in the future. I'm planning on getting definitely some more stuff. I'm actually running out of space for my Chucky stuff, so I gotta start finding new places to put my stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hashtag stay electric. If you didn't like this video, well then dislike it. That's why the dislike button is there. But if you also liked it, Please make sure you hit the like button. It'll help me a lot. Also, subscribe. We are going on 9,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. And once we get to 10,000, we unlock the YouTube space. And by golly, we are going to have some crazy fun in there. Let me tell you. I'm bringing you guys along. I'm probably going to do a tour of YouTube space, like I said before in the past. But um, time's getting close. And I'm probably going to release a music video while I'm in there. Uh, probably do some collaborations while I'm in there because I know a lot of youtubers hang out there all the time so help me help you and please help me get into that space I love you guys so much hashtag stay electric and I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.